We begin this hour with another assault on voting rights, most specifically on black voters. This one coming from the highest court in the land. The U.S. Supreme Court let Alabama take away the power for black voters to choose the person who represents them in Congress. The court voted five to four in favor of keeping gerrymandered congressional maps in place. It only gives black voters one congressional district, even though black people make up more than 26 percent of the state's population. Last month, federal judges blocked Alabama's gerrymandered map, saying, quote, black voters have less opportunity than other Alabamians to elect candidates of their choice to Congress, adding any remedial plan will need to include two districts in which black voters either comprise a voting age majority or something quite close to it. BNC White House correspondent Ariana Manise joins us live now from Capitol Hill. And Ariana, this is a blow for Democrats, let's be clear, and for the Biden administration. Yeah, that's correct, Kelly Nayara. That's because the battle over who controls Congress is at stake during the midterm elections. But the voices of black voters in the state of Alabama, whether they side with Democrats or Republicans, those voices will go unheard during this midterm election. And we need substantive legislation passed that makes life better for all of us. The black vote in the state of Alabama is in jeopardy after the United States Supreme Court issued an order allowing a Republican-backed congressional map to remain in place. The federal court looked at this plan and said this plan is unfair to the black people of Alabama. But this Supreme Court says it's all right to be unfair to the black people of Alabama. In a 5-4 to four vote, the court rejected a lower court's order that found gerrymandered districts likely violated the Voting Rights Act and diluted the black vote. The order that was overturned ruled that the state must redraw congressional districts to reflect an increase of the black population in Alabama based on the 2020 census. Well, there's plenty of concern about that. Uh, that's why this case is an alarmist. Now we got a case going on in North Carolina. But the North Carolina Supreme Court has decided that it is going to do what's right. Other congressional Democrats are sounding the alarm on partisan gerrymandering happening across the country. I asked those conservative map drawers mm -hmm. came from out of the state and handed a map. Yeah. Why? What did you accomplish? What benefit did you accomplish by destroying the 9th and 18th congressional district, by zeroing out the number of black districts? Zero. Yeah. So far during this redistricting cycle, 16 states have adopted GOP-drawn maps, with others still under consideration. If we don't get it, shut it down. Supporters of the John R. Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act say ongoing partisan gerrymandering underscores a need for Congress to update voting protections. Because we no longer have the 1965 Voting Rights Act operating uh, with pre-clearance. So I would hope people would take a hard look at this, and I would hope there is extensive reporting about this, and we'll know just how important uh, this discussion going on about the Supreme Court is, and we ought to. Uh, really focus on this. Now, Justice Kavanaugh and Alito, who voted with the conservative majority, they backed up their decision, citing the fact that the lower courts that they acted too close to the midterm elections. Nayara. Ariana, how long is this congressional map going to stay in place? Well, this map will be in place when we get to the midterm elections come November. And if the court does decide that Alabama must redraw this congressional map, we won't see this take place until after oral arguments, with they, which they, they have teed up until fall. So this goes back to why we saw so many civil rights groups and voting rights advocates really calling for Congress to act immediately over the summer to pass the John R. Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act, which establishes that preclearance, as well as passing the Freedom to Vote Act, which addresses partisan gerrymandering. But of course, both pieces of legislation remain stalled here in Congress. Back to you.